Aloha and welcome to Beach Walks with Rocks. Today is show number 448 and you can find us at beachwalks.tv. Hey everybody. I want to thank you Celeste for leaving your comment. I thought we might get some feedback about the show on Little Joe, the skateboarding dog. And I must say that my first reaction when I heard that he had broken his leg in the skateboarding incident and then was right back on it with the cast was a little bit alarmed. But you know, right away, second reaction came forth, which is, you know, animals are so much like people. I did a show a while ago about our animals conscious. Do they have consciousness? And pretty much most of us agree that they do. And there are so many tales of the amazing things that animals have done both uh, in their own communities as well as interacting with humans that, you know, I started letting that data weigh in for me. And I realized also that, you know, in my life, I've lived a very adventurous life and I've had many people who love me dearly be very concerned that I was taking too many risks and putting myself in dangerous situations when I shouldn't. But in fact, I've chosen to live in that sense on the edge and I really like being there, knowing full well that I might encounter some physical harm. So I think physical harm is one of those topics that, you know, it's a very broad spectrum. And certainly we don't, I don't condone or endorse um, creating physical harm for anyone or for any you know, creature, any animal or human. But at the same time, I recognize the right of humans and animals to live out their pleasures in the most adventurous ways. And it might have been hard for you to sense this uh, watching the show, but I can vouch for Joe having seen him in person that he was very happy to be on that skateboard. There was no hesitation whatsoever, and he was doing just fine, even though he had a little cast on his teeny little leg. And it's one of the reasons why I think it's great that you know, when we're lucky enough to have both a mom and a dad, uh, mom's generally representing the more caring, cautious point of view, very loving and tender. Dad's often representing the more adventurous point of view. And, you know, uh, if, there were, if there were only moms, there'd be a lot of kids not doing fun things like jumping off of rocks and, and testing themselves. And that's, I, I think that, you know, that's, I think living with adventure is fun. It's not for everyone and it's not something that we push on people, but in and of itself it's not a problem. So maybe that will shed a little more light on the situation for us today. We're having a little bit of a rainy season here in early June in Hawaii, but uh, Lexi and I are going swimming and we shall take any and all of your cares and concerns out to sea with us. So load us up and we'll see you tomorrow. Aloha everybody. If you want to Skype, it's Roxanne Darling. If you want to call, it's 949-544-1456 and Malama Pono. That's take care.